Welcome to this new video on managing storage. In this video, we are going to cover virtual data optimizer. So we'll understand what is video and how to create a video. So video stands for virtual data optimizer. It is a technique which helps to reduce the disk space usage through deduplication, compression and thin provisioning. Now let us suppose that there's a user who stores some data, maybe a file or a picture in your in the hard disk. Then there's another user who somehow stores the same data or the same picture in the disk. Now, in a normal scenario, although the data is same, but they will be saved separately in the disk, thus occupying double the space for the same data. Now, what happens with video is, that the system does not store the duplicate entry, rather it points to the same original entry. So this is the concept of deduplication, wherein you store the duplicate entries only once. Now the second advantage is of compression, where the data is compressed using a compression technique. And the third thing is that it makes the storage look bigger with the concept of Thin provisioning. Thin provisioning is a storage technique that allows allocating more space logically than is physically available. However, only the space actually used by data is consumed, ensuring optimal storage utilization instead of reserving it all upfront. So what I mean is that with video, we can create a logically larger storage space than actual physical space available. For example, from just 5 GB of physical storage, we can create 50 GB of video volume. However, instead of reserving the entire 50 GB upfront, the system only consumes the space needed by actual data. So if a user stores 1 GB of data, only 1 GB of physical space is used, while the remaining 49 GB remains available for future use. This ensures efficient and dynamic storage utilization. But remember, if the actual physical storage, which was the 5 GB, is full, then new data cannot be written even though the logical space is 50 GB. We would also be required to install these packages LVM2, Kmod-KVideo and Video. So you must install these packages first and now we will see how to create a video. So first I will list all the available disk and show you the disk I will be working with. So I will be using this third available disk NUME 0N3 of 10 GB size. So the very first command is I need to create a physical volume. So we will write PV create slash dev slash nvm e 0 n 3 okay i should be running the command as root user so let me switch to the root user account all right so i will run the command again pv create slash tev slash nvm e 0 n 3 right so the first step is done and we have created a physical volume. Next we need to create the volume group. So VG create. Let's name it as VG1 slash DEV slash NVM E0 M3. So we have successfully created the volume group also. We can check that using VGS right so we have the volume group vg1 now let us go to the final step which is lv create and now here we need to give certain parameters the very first one is what kind of lvm you want to create so here type will be video next we need to specify name so hyphen hyphen name whatever name you want to assign as per the question. Let's say video 1. Next, we will give the size which is the 
physical size that is what physical memory you want to map to logical memory so here let's pose the physical size is 5 gb that we want to map the ratio of physical size to logical size ideally is 1 is to 10 so if the physical size is 5 gb then the logical size that you want to present to the user is 50 gb so the virtual size in this will be 50 gb it's not that you have to keep the ratio as 1 is to 10 always the maximum size allowed for logical size is 256 times the physical size and the upper limit is 4 petabytes but in general it is kept as 1 is to 10 moreover both the physical and logical size will be given in the question so you just follow the instructions last parameter is the volume group name from which we want to create this video so if you remember it was vg1 so you can see that the logical volume vd1 video1 is created we can also check using lsblk you can see here video1 is created and the size is 50 gb now the next step will be installing the file system so you can use mkfs dot xfs if you want to install the xfs file system then minus k then the video location which is slash tev slash vg1 slash video1 so that's done the final step is to mount the video first create the mount point mkdir suppose the mount point name is video underscore M. Since you want the mount to persist even after reboot, you need to edit the slash etc slash fs tab file. So let's open that nano slash etc slash fs tab. The entries will be as usual slash tev slash vg1 slash video1. Then the mount point which is video underscore m file system that is xfs then defaults 0 and 0 save this now run mount minus a to check everything is fine no error so the mounting is done successfully so this was all about creating video in the next video we are going to practice a few questions based upon all the concepts we have done in this particular module.